Hello there, and welcome to my playthrough of the new, currently available early access build of 3D Realms' new fantasy first-person shooter, Graven. Well, well, well. This audio is too loud. One second. Let's see. Effects and dialogue. There we are. Let's see, everything else is good. Alright. Welcome. Welcome, one and all, to Graven. Specifically, early access build 1506 of Graven. Yeah, this is just something I uh, wanted to throw, kind of throw out there really quick. Um, the early access build for this game was released last week. I haven't really seen many videos at all on YouTube about this so far, and I'm sure some things will change in future early access builds, but I don't know, I've already played through the current build, um, you know, what, what is currently available, that is, twice, uh, you know, once to, just to get introduced to everything, and the second time through I was like, okay, I, well, I know how to do everything that there is to do in the game so far, I'll go ahead and just play through it more quickly and see how much, you know, more, how much time I can shave off that initial playthrough. So I was thinking, why don't we just do a big old marathon of Graven right now? And uh, to do that... Okay, so my other playthrough is like just over two hours long. So yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a pretty long video. So I'm just gonna do this all in one part. Um, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to do this in one playthrough. Well, I mean, I guess... Or uh, not in one playthrough, in multiple playthroughs. But, I think my next scheduled playthrough at the time of recording this video, which is at May 29th, um, is scheduled to start June 4th, so... I figured I'd kind of just go ahead and get the whole thing done in one go. So let's just, uh, make a, make a name here. Oh, one thing I do want to say, or a couple things. Um, there is no difficulty selection currently, it's just one difficulty, and... I think that was pretty much it. I was gonna say something about profiles, but, yeah, screw it. Here's profiles, enjoy them. What is thy name? My name... ...is Nobody. Graven. Graven. Do we want to watch this? Hmm... I guess so. This man among pious men, our priest of the orthogonal order, humbly walks the parallel path, following the Creator through service. Father to an adopted daughter, as fate would have it, he cherished her, and they shared a love of both learning and charity. But not all walk the parallel path. They serve another, not a creator, not begotten. And their transgressions lay a heavy price upon the world. When love meets fear, even the humble heart feels wrath and righteous anger, giving birth to unknown strength. Red-handed from the blood of a heretic, the blood of a fellow priest, without being able to see how once more he is tried and found guilty. What divides contrition and shame? Acceptance. Acceptance. Succumbing to the burning sands and arguing not over the price of her life, he closes his eyes one last time. A prayer for peace. You will have to earn your peace. Am I the only one getting Major Stefan Waite vibes from that intro? Was that really him voicing it? If not, why not? 
Ew. Swamp looks a little, uh... Ugh. <clears throat> little dead. What you want, crow? Hey, get off here. This is my boat. You jerk. Hey, ferryman. Where the hell are you taking me? Is that my staff? I want my staff. I'll just sit up here with you. Open sesame. That's what I thought. Priest coming through. At times the only light in this accursed swamp are the funeral pyres. Oh, is that what those are? How deep and poetic, Mr. Ferryman, sir. That is a lot of funeral pyres. Why would you have a funeral all the way out here in the middle of a swamp? No need to own ships and land when they can scarcely dare come near. If they did, the mob would claim them, much like a kid at the lighthouse. Lighthouse looking a little, uh... In need of help. A what? You you think you 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 want some of this? Yeah, that's what I thought. With this plague, it is better to die early. Death is natural, but this pox and what follows it is not. Damn bats. Again with the deep poetics. You're just full of it today, aren't you? Graven. Land ho! Can I have my staff now? Haha. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. Here's a little tip for you. Here you go. Oh. If you say so. Hmm. Cruxfirth. I'm supposed to be dead. Where is she? What happened to my daughter? Whose voice was that? How can I earn my peace? Was this guy breaking the fourth wall and listening to that narrated intro? The strange ferryman brought me to Cruxfirth, a backwater in every possible way. But this is far worse than even exaggerated rumor. Something horrible is going on here. I must help. May I disembark? Hey! What's this? Whoa! Respawn point. Cool. Map of Cruxfirth. Hmm. Nice map. Yeah, I find that kind of weird. Like, you're given a map, but the map is incomplete until you yourself explore more of it. So what's even the purpose of getting a map? I guess it doesn't show up in your inventory unless you get it, but that's just kind of strange. I don't know. But yes, welcome. Welcome to Graven, the early access build. Uh, this is not going to be as, you know, planned and analytical and put together as my other playthroughs are. Uh, for one thing, this is early access. There's plenty of things 3D Realms and the developers have to iron out. Um, <laughs> the early access build doesn't have that good of reviews right now. I, I think a lot of that was just based on overhype. People were like, oh, this isn't at all what I expected, and all that kind of usual junk when it comes to early access games. I'm going to preserve my judgment for, you know, later versions, because 3D Realms have already put together a Google document for things they want to improve on, based on player feedback, and, you know, all that good stuff. 
But what I have played so far, I mean, I've enjoyed. There are definitely things that could be improved, but... I mean, what's here, I do believe is fun. Such as, you know, destroying people's property to get health items and mana pickups and ammo pickups and all that good stuff. Probably going to say all that good stuff a lot of times. Uh, by the way, those red barrels are explosive, so I'm not even going to bother with those barrels until I get something ranged that I can blow them up with. So, this area here... Take heed. The village of Cruxforth is suffering a plague of unknown origin. Enter and do business at your own risk. Safety and health are not assured. So, this here is actually... There we go. Is actually the first map. It's called the Lice Slough. Yeah, Lice Slough. Lovely, right? Um, and you can actually go ahead and play through it immediately if you want. You don't have to be given the quest by one of the guards in town. Oh no, barrels, they're everywhere. Give me that. I'll blow y'all up with a spell later on. Um, but I guess for the sake of, you know, showing you how to find things, we'll just do it that way. Doesn't take that much time anyway. I'm also not going to be bashing things the entire time. Even though you do get pickups from things like barrels and crates and other things, I will only do it when necessary. When I have to resupply on some ammo, or when my health is below 100, which it is, uh, as you can probably tell, the green, oh, right, the green um, meter the bottom left is health. I assume the zero to the left of that little circle is supposed to be armor, um, but armor is actually not in this game so far, which I also find kind of weird. I mean, you can't even put armor in the game yet, but whatever. Early access is early access. I'll just leave it at that. Um, and then your two meters on the right are your mana, which is basically ammo for all of your spells. There's red mana, and then there's blue mana. The red mana is ammo for a spell called Inflame. And then the blue mana is... It was supposed to be ammo for a spell called Discharge, but uh, for some reason, even though Discharge was in the demo of the game, they removed it from early access. But a lot of people want it put back in, and I agree it should be. But we'll just have to deal without it for right now. Just over here, destroying this entire dock. No more shipping crates for you guys. Let's see, I do need more red mana, but I, I think I'll be fine. Another thing I do want to say, and this may also be changed, because again, early access, things are liable to be changed. Um, spells do not do direct damage to enemies, they just kind of change the environment. So with Inflame, you can burn away webbing. Um, and destroy things like crates and barrels, but it does no damage to enemies, which is weird because you're lighting them on fire, but, you know, whatever. And then Discharge can stun enemies if you zap them in water. I don't think it actually kills them, I think it just stuns them. So, yeah. And, yeah, if you approach a door and it lights up, you can at least try to open it, otherwise it'll give you this noise here. You know, you jiggling that doorknob. And you can explore pretty much all the back alleys around here if you want. There's not really any point to, for the time being, there, there are a few uh, more hidden areas inside the actual town, which we're not at yet, because it's past that little palisade there. Um, but, aside from that, oh yeah, you can bash corpses too if you want. Nasty. It's better to do that with the inflame spell, doesn't take as long, you just set them on fire and watch them explode. Set it. And forget it. But yeah, I've got my bashing... My bashing desires satisfied for now. Let's talk to this here guard. Sorry, this here guard. A priest. It's too late for prayers. The waste is clogged up with the dead. More than a sword can cut through. You get our muck flowing again, we'll let you in. It's the doorway down by the steps to the docks. We boarded it up, so you might need to break through. <laughs> ho ho! Good sir. I am way ahead of you already. The Lice Slough. The town guard want me to clear up a rather grave clog beneath the city. It's going to take more than a firm hand and an iron stomach. Gross. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this first quest underway. Now there are, I think, three or four quests uh, total 
that are available right now. I'm not really counting Cruxfirth since it acts as the hub town, but I mean you can complete stuff in it, and when you complete quests, the uh, quest title, which is this text over here, will actually get struck through. So, it does at least show you. And there is our inflame spell right now. A tool to light torches, trigger explosives, and melt ice. Oh yeah, slight spoiler, there is no ice in this build either. None yet, but I'm sure it'll come soon enough. Or when all is ready. I don't mind waiting. I'm going to die down here. The flames do nothing to these creatures. I should have listened to our priests. Keep the spells to altering the world, keep the steel to protecting ourselves. This flame is good for nothing but light and chain reactions. Useful info. Go ahead and just mighty kick these here planks of wood. Yeah, the kick can destroy planks of wood in one kick, but the uh, <laughs> the staff takes more hits. It takes like two or three, which is kind of weird. Now, there is money, or gold, I should say, at the top of that that shelf over there. Also, crouch jumping is a thing in this game. I don't think you can actually get over there. I don't think you can get the momentum. Let me see. Oh, never mind. I just wasn't trying hard enough. Also, when you pick up gold, sometimes it'll tell you how much you picked up, and sometimes it won't. I'm... Fairly sure that's just a bug. Is there anything that needs to be lit? Oh, hello there, Mr. Uh, Sepulcher. Get lit. Ah, oh. Hey, magical respawning crow. Hi, Mr. Uh, afflicted zombie person. Hey. Play nice. I'll, boy, I'll just kick you. And then I'll just do this. Yeah. That's what you get, you jerk. Ooh, thanks for the 20 gold, though. So yeah, that's your first enemy type. I don't know what they're actually called. There is no official bestiary for this game yet, so I think they're just called... I'll make up names. I know the names of, like, two enemies, um, and I'll name them as I come across them. But these guys, I'm just going to stick to calling afflicted, plagued, or zombies. I mean, it's fitting. Oh, what the... Oh, cool. One staff hit killed them. What the? I guess you can get headshots with melee weapons because this staff is all of a sudden getting one hit kills when normally it can never do that. I'll take it. Life slow. And the level uh, titles or level names will occasionally keep randomly popping in for some reason. Again, you know what I'm about to say. Early access. Health potion. Liquid relief for both imbibing and bathing. Ew. I don't even want to bathe in that. Looks a little, uh, a little artificial. What kind of flavor would that be? Bubble gum? Tasty. And does this not look just like the quartz flask from Heretic and Hexen? Does to me. Oh, ow! Oh, you can actually grab me. I bash your hands. Didn't know they could do that. Can I take some gold, please? Ow. You know what? That was worth it. Because I get money, and y'all don't. So burn for it. Oh, we have another zombie face. Go ahead and just bash his brains in. Yeah, right now the enemy AI is a little one-dimensional. Provided you have stamina, and yes, you have, uh, you probably see right next to the weapons and items bar at the bottom middle, there is a stamina meter. Your stamina is tied to your breath as well for swimming. Like, from Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 2 Episode 1. I don't know why. Hopefully that gets fixed as well. And now over here, oh, we have an item we need. A lever for a gate. A key ingredient to some mechanical function. See where it fits. This gated area here, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be open somehow, but I have yet to find a way. I don't see any other way of getting in there, so I... I don't know. There's nothing in there but ammo and gold. Don't really need it too bad. Whoop. Well, that's helpful. Hey, zombies. Quit clogging up that pipe. Or that, uh, whatever it is. Hey. Hi. You wanna play? 
You want to play? Ring around the rosy. Pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, you all fall down. Get it? Because you're afflicted with a plague? You see? Priests can make jokes too. Come in this little secret stash here. Steal some poor dead soul's gold and then smash a skeleton up. What's this? Not much left in my stash. Hopefully no one looks here. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. Hey, move. Get out of my way. Attention, all afflicted. Keep calm. Do not become aggressive. I will not harm you if you do not try to harm me. Yeah, you can also find gold inside smashable things like these corpses. Go ahead and light them on fire now. <laughs> I like how the explosion effect kind of makes the screen look all shimmery. Gotta love those little visual weirdnesses. Weirdnesses? I don't think it's a real word. What's up here? Oh, hi. You wanna die? Goodbye. Oh, splat. <laughs> now that's gonna be fun to do. Yeah, you can kick enemies, and they are eventually gonna make it so that you can kick them into uh, palisades, as well as the Cheval de Frise that you shall be seeing around the levels. What is a Cheval de Frise? What the hell does that mean? I forgot what it means, but I'll show you what they are as soon as I get to one. I will also make an attempt to kill all the enemies that I come across, but I'm not going to stay in one area for too long. Hey, what are you doing? You want to die? Oh, you double teaming. Uh-uh, y'all cheating. Triple team? Here. Taste wood. Stupid zombies. Oh, just over here. You got to be quicker than that. Hey, zombie. You. Oh, there's two of you now. Okay. That's fair. I'm game. Oh, wow. I almost messed that up. I'm really surprised that didn't hit me. But, oh well. Your loss is my gain. Hi. You want to get smashed? Get smashed. Alright. Now, there is... You know what? I'll explore the water last. Never mind. You move slowly in the water because it's waist deep so we'll get there last yeah we're on land now much more fair fight oh. hi if I can stop missing my freaking swings Whoop. now I can just circle strafe circle strafe to win oops goodbye oops goodbye oh oh did you want some too you want some Whoops. Gotta be quicker than that. I'm too fast for you. You guys have the jumping attacks, but I'm the one moving faster somehow. Home run. Oh, a little dark in here. Let's shed some light on the situation. Oh, hi. More of you? Ooh, got him in two swings. Nice. What? Can't hit me? Am I too fast for you? I'm just walking. I'm not even running. Oh, yes, I am too fast for him. Oh! Sir, I'm afraid your head is down here. And I just kicked it. I didn't even think you could do that. That up there is a new map. Uh, we will go there later on. Light some more of these... Uh, What's the word for them? Plinth? No, that's for statues. Not sepulcher either. Not really torches. Oh, what's the word? Now it's gonna nag at me. I'll take out my frustration on these here afflicted. Hey. Stand up and fight me like a zombie. There you go. Come on. You almost had me. Aw, so close. So the goal of this map is to basically set an explosive barrel right there where it says to set it and then light it on fire with the inflame spell here and then watch it explode those giant piles of corpses. 
Oh, look, more zombies. Hi, zombies. Hi, how you doing? Mind if I behead you? Lucille here is feeling a little hungry. She's a vampire staff. Back to business. Now, whenever weapon upgrades become a thing in this game, which they will, I really hope you can tie barbed wire or Constantine wire around your staff and make it like Lucille. That would be so... bitchin'. Okay, where do I want to go to next? Um, eh, I guess I'll go ahead and explore the watery area. There is one thing you can do down here in the watery area. Also, lighting these, uh, braziers, that's the word. Brazier, B R A Z I E R, not the other kind of brazier. You know, B R A S S I E R E, bras. Yeah, brazier, as in the things that hold fire. That's what these things are called. Um, lighting the braziers doesn't actually do anything. I was under the impression maybe it would open up that area up there that I mentioned, but nope, it does not. And I know for a fact I've lit every. Well, you just materialized out of thin air, didn't you? As I was saying, I think I've lit every brazier in this map. Not now, just in previous runs. And nothing's happened, so whatever. Tis what tis. Anyway, the thing I wanted to do in the water is go down here. And, oh yeah, right, you're in here. Hi. Want to face me like a zombie? Oh, you just got loose sealed. This barrel here is made out of metal, so you can't break it. And whenever you see things made out of metal, which there can be barrels or crates, they'll usually be used for something like this. Set it on top of a pressure plate. And it opens these little palisade doors right here, which just leads back into here. Yeah, that's kind of all it does. Riveting stuff, I know. Yeah, hopefully that... Uh, I, w I was also thinking that maybe that pressure plate opened that secret gated area up there with all the gold, but it does not. Light these barrels on fire. That way you can burst them without the barrels flying all over the damn place. Alright. I think there's going to be some more afflicted over here. I don't think I've faced them yet. Oh, I did. Okay, never mind. We're good. But what we need to do is set the lever right in here. Oh boy, look at all of this ordnance. Um, do not bash the barrels, because they will explode and they will kill you. Especially because you don't have any freaking armor in this build. So do not do that. I'll just bash the stuff that contains items. And then we'll just mosey on along here with this big old Whoa. Now, hang on a sec. Where'd you come from now? I was just over here. Now you want to... Now you want to spawn. Okay. Well, now you're dead, so that's that. Oop, a little further. There we go. And light it on fire. There we go. One corpse pile remaining. Yeah, corpse pile. That's just so lovely. So we have to take this here. Now these are actually uh, peat barrels. And that's peat as in... P-E-A-T, which I think is like some form of soil, not the, a person named Pete. Like the ferryman said. With the, uh, something with the peat or one with the rot. If you die here, which I don't plan on doing. Hopefully. And set you on fire too. And boom. The peat barrels did the trick of clearing up the blockage, though I never expected to dare use magic. What am I becoming? The muck is flowing properly now. I can't blame them for passing this work downhill, but I hope my nostrils survive the aftermath. Fares better than my conscience. Creator, forgive my transgressions. No, oh, I'm sure the creator won't mind. So, use magic or don't use magic in a world such as this? Alright, well, I dare say we've spent enough time down here. The poor unnamed priest's nose is probably begging for a break at this point. Go ahead and bash some more barrels and stuff while we're down here. 
But we are finished. So we will just head... Ooh, gold. I want that. We'll just head right on back up here. To the Lice Slough. Or, well, the Cruxfirth. This door is locked, by the way. Can't open it. Forgot to mention that before. And we are out of the Lice Slough. Alright, Mr. Town Guard man person face thing. I did your job for you. You're welcome. Good enough, but I wish you hadn't brought that stench back up with you. Even the plague smells better. Go on in. Yeah, you smell nice too. Jerk. The gates of Cruxforth rise. An infection is rampant, and unfortunately the innocents have lost their minds to the point of unending rage. I must seek out an official of the city. Why, how convenient. There's one right here. A tax collector. I hate to plead, but you seem to be passing through, or at least you're not from, from here and aren't sick. You want to reach the library? Tough luck. We're besieged on all fronts heading that way. You can't get out while that plagued horde is beating down upon us. I'm not fit to venture out, but you certainly look tough enough. The old sunken lighthouse. Refuel it from the storage towers nearby. Light it. We might stand a chance if we can draw some away from the gate. If you need supplies, talk to the blacksmith. The sunken lighthouse. Cruxfirth faces a plague, with those not struck down by the infection turning horribly violent. The tax collector has suggested that we lure them away using an old sunken lighthouse in the muskeg. I need only find two fuel canisters and a means to ignite the fuel. My newfound capabilities, abhorrent though they may be, seem exactly the fit. What do you know? How convenient. Can I read this? Nope. So yeah, welcome to the actual town. I'm getting some, like, decent Fable vibes here. Very, uh... What was a city, or was a setting in Fable called? Albion, I think? Yeah, Albion. Reminds me of Albion. Stalwart Elgin. Where the sea meets soil, where peat workers toil, where beating breasts royal. Cruxford shall be the Watchman of the Empire. So deep. So deep. So yes, over here you have your blacksmith. So right now... All you can do with him is buy stuff. Um, they probably will introduce a selling feature, so you can sell stuff you don't want or need. Um, the three weapons that he offers right now, the short sword, the cuff arrow, and the fletchant. Or fletchant? Fletchant. I'll say fletchant. Um, you find all three of these weapons in the upcoming map, so I'm actually not going to buy any of them. I would only need to buy, like, these two anyway, but I didn't bash all the things in the Lice Slough, so I don't have enough gold to get both, but, like I said, I'm not going to be buying them. But in future builds, uh, 3D Realms have already said that his main purpose is going to be selling you upgrades for weapons. There are some houses here that you can explore. Ooh, look, a red chest. Let's explode it. Oh, you know, just a little petty vandalism. Nothing to see here. You guys have much bigger things to worry about than this. Oh, hey look. A brazier with no freaking coal in it. I can't even light it on fire. Absolutely outrageous. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. Oh, you won't open. Fine. So I think I will uh, explore Cruxfirth just a bit. Go into the houses you can actually go into. By the way, these things. These little barricades with the spiky bits. These are the Cheval de Fries. Or, actually, I believe the plural form is uh, Chevaux de Fries. I believe that's what it is. Now, why are you all boarded up? Oh, I can't even open the door. Fine, I'll just hit you. Can I go in here? No? I think I can go in this one. Yay, here we go. There is at least one house that um, has more stuff to explore than just like a couple of rooms oh hi burn and any houses I go in I will go ahead and bash all the things this cracked door by the way um, you will be able to break through that but not yet there is a little upgrade you have to get for your staff before you'll be able to and you will find that uh, in, I think, the final available map. 
in this build. <clears throat> now, where is the house? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it's down this alleyway here. I think it might be this one? Yes, it is this one. So in this house here, behind these barrels, you have a switch. Or a lever, I should say. That lever <clears throat> opens this latticework door here. Yeah, you can't go out that way. Just bash things. I'm, I'm guessing people don't have any valuables in their house. This town does seem rather dirt poor. As well as, you know, being plague stricken as well. This latticework door here you can just open. Now, what is the point of all this? Of this charade? To commit vandalism? Now look, I'm always up for a little bit of petty vandalism in games like this, but that can't be the only point. Also, what the hell, game? I need some red mana. I'm wasting it all burning everything. Gold is nice, but I want mana. So I kindly request thee to give me mana. These cracks look awfully uh, similar to the ones we just saw in the red door now, don't they? That's because they are the exact same. And they do require the same staff upgrade before you can actually, you know, use it. Or uh, break through it, rather. Oh, man, stairs, stairs, and more stairs. What could this place be hiding? Other than breakables. And burnables. The red vases or urns, by the way, do not explode. So you don't have to worry about those things blowing up in your face. Only the red barrels and the red chests are the things that explode. Speaking of which, we have one right there. Hmm. That looks familiar. Maybe if I, uh... <gasps> Why, look at that. We're right back in the lice sloth. Yep. You may have noticed this palisade door here when I came up here and kicked that zombie all the way down to the water and killed him. There are some shortcuts back to previous maps in this game. Which is pretty nifty, I have to say. Multiple points of ingress and egress. Never a bad thing. But, I think we have dilly-dallied along for long enough. Let's help this here afflicted, plague-stricken town and maybe become their hero. Live happily ever after and all that jazz. But first I break stuff. So, the first area we have to go to is right over here. The Brine Muskeg. Well... Just how briny and musk eggy can this place be? Hey, Crow. How you doing? Well, this is an official map. That's not just the town hub. So I'm going to break some more stuff. I need mana. And yes, I realize it's probably counterproductive to use mana to gain mana. Well, to potentially gain mana, but I don't care. It's fun. It's also quicker than using the staff. Staff's a bit slow for things like that. Not so much the crates, just the barrels. I have to give it a nice kick. But yeah, I'm not going to spend all time doing that. Let's actually uh, get some fighting in. Hey, Afflicted, how you doing? I killed some of your family in the Lice Slough. Hope you don't mind. Hey, yeah, you too. What are you, his brother? Sleep. What could be around here? Oh, hey, look, another funeral pyre. This place just gets grimmer and grimmer. Ooh, I spy something over there. Oh, hi. Excuse me. I want that floating thing, whatever it is, so die. Thank you. It's mine. I saw it first. 
Ooh, a key. A skull key. Whittled bone and marrow for getting past obstacles. Oh, is it now? Is it now? Oh, let me just reposition myself a bit. Oops. Looks like all we needed was that key to be able to gain access. Makes sense. That's what keys do. Help you gain access. Oh, hey, pile of corpses. Burn. And explode. Oh, one gold. Nice. Whoa, hey, where are you, where are you running off to? Oh, hey, is that a weapon? Cuff arrow. A wrist-mounted crossbow. Good accuracy and damage for its size. Ooh. A wrist-mounted crossbow. Now, essentially, this thing is your pistol. It takes three bolts to take down a uh, an afflicted. But I find it quite fun to just smack these dudes around a bit. Especially when you get a nice headshot like that. Burn for it! Burn for your transgressions, jerk! Anyone here who's not a zombie? Hey, sir. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You are a zombie. Oh, hello. I'm trying to kick you off the ledge. Ow! Hey, that's not nice. You know what? No. You're not worthy of a nice, fancy death. You're just going to get a good old-fashioned ass beating. I'll take your gold, too. Ooh. Oh, a peat brick. I wonder what those could be used for. Guess we'll find out soon, huh? Now, there actually is a secret area up here. Hello. Who growled at me? Ah, oh my goodness. You waiting back there? You just camping? Here. Here's what I do to campers. I smash him. Just like that. Usually he's behind the door here. I didn't expect him to be right there. Do need some health after all that. Hey, what the... What the hell? There were two health files. I only picked up one. I got robbed. I've seen them encroaching on this area. They're slow, but they're making their way here. I'm prepared to die. I've accepted the harsh reality that I've lived a selfish and horrible life. I deserve what's going to happen to me. I just wish I could read my most treasured book one last time. It's kept in the library now, I believe. Oh, how I love reading about that old man, Fildar. Hmm... I'm guessing Graven Dude does that whenever there's a clue that he finds. Would make sense. Yeah, I'm gonna need some vials. Vials, please! Oh, hello. Didn't, don't want to smack you around. You'll kill me. This pyre's taking too long. I'll just burn all y'all like that. And there we go. <clears throat> Yeah. Now, uh, as I was trying to say before that uh, afflicted interrupted me, there are secrets in this game. There is no stats feature in this build that shows you how many you found. And I know where a few of them are, so I'll try to find them again. Here's one of them. Got a crap ton of gold, including a bag of a hundred of it. <clears throat> we'll just bust up everything else. If it's in a house, it's fair game. Especially if there's health files involved, because I do need some more health. Yeah, if you try to kick a afflicted during their jump animation, they'll just do it immediately all over again. So I wouldn't uh, recommend trying to do what I tried to do. I should have kicked them immediately when I saw him getting up, and I would have had him. But oh well. Let's uh. Let's fill up on some health. I do not wish to explore any further without having optimal health. Like I have right now. Alright. Oh, also, I do want to uh, put you over here. Keep my weapons over here. Much more natural that way. Hi, zombies. You want to try and smack me up a bit, too? Too bad. You want some now too, huh? Come on, come get you some.
<laughs> Off with your head. Now let's see what could be over here. Seems awfully important. Must be carrying something. Oh, it's a stash and a bunch of dead armored guards. Yeah, and for whatever reason, if your ammo is full and you walk over the ammo pickups, you still... It, like, the game still makes the sound like you're picking it up, which I hope they change that, too. Because it kind of makes me think, oh, I didn't have full ammo, but I actually did, so... Whoopsie. Go ahead and go back here, get me 50 gold and a... <coughs> quartz flask! Oh, gee, who said that? I sneezed, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a health potion. Oh, right, and these guys. I don't know what these guys are called, but they're nasty. They fly around, they spit acid at you. But three bolts puts them down. And they're not too hard to aim at. And there he goes. Oh, is he gonna fall? Hey, fall. Fall. Ah, he's not gonna fall. Also, there is an alt fire function in this game for weapons. The alt fire for this is just that it zooms in. Oh, excuse me. Kind of like an aim down sight feature. But uh, it's not really that needed. Oh, hi. You're a big boy, aren't you? Explode. Hey, there we go. Like that. Now this uh, this cutie here, I believe this is the lycanthrope. There is an enemy in this game called a lycanthrope, and I imagine that's what uh, that's what it is. It's the only quadrupedal enemy in the game that I can immediately think of. Lycans are like wolves, so I guess it's like a afflicted wolf thing. A lycanthrope. Knock, knock, bitches. Open up. Or I blow up some more barrels. Oh, I see a little party going on. How about you guys, uh... Ow. Oh, I didn't even hit the barrel. Okay. Ooh, that was nice. Oh, hi, Lycanthrope. You want some? Yeah, it takes eight bolts to kill a Lycanthrope, which isn't too bad. Oh, you got alerted too, huh? That's fine. I can get you some. Down boy. Whoa. Hey, why are you spitting at my quarry? Get your own quarry. I'll just shoot you out the sky. Yep, just like that. I totally forgot he was there. That was my own fault. Aw, oh, that's cute. Y'all think he's gonna hit me. Unless I make a misstep, that's not going to happen. Ooh, them ragdoll physics. Got to love it. What you barrels all got for me? Ooh, I see bolts. I do need bolts. I just uh, had to use about three quarters of my bolt supply, so all the bolts will be well appreciated. I hear that. Who's in here growling? You guys doing all the growling? Something just spit at me? Ooh, can I blow y'all up? Oh, kapow. I love doing that. And I think there is another one of those flying things around somewhere. Yeah, there you are. I know I heard you spitting at me. Hey, you don't spit at people. That's rude. It's also rude to miss your shots. <clears throat> yeah, you, bat thing. Die. And that is the bottom line. Whoa! Yeah, ho ho, uh-uh. You ain't catching me this time. Nice try, though. But not nice enough. Just gonna burn your entire barrel supply. Hope you don't mind. Oh, I see more flying things. I see even more flying things. 
Yeah, let's use these guys for some target practice. Yeah, and and don't uh, don't mind the weird-looking vapor trail these bolts leave. These things really do just fly straight as an arrow, which I guess makes sense since you know they're arrows. How else would they fly? Not straight. Uh, hi, lycanthropehead. You're creeping me out. That was weird. Kind of cursed. Kind of cursed. Not gonna lie. Yuck. This place reeks of the dead. Alright. Well, this must be the lighthouse they told me about. I see something floating and flashing. That means it's important. A peat fuel canister. A canister of peat for quick refueling. Ah, so this is how we fuel the lighthouse, huh? What's this say? Lighthouse operation. For anyone who attempts to operate the lighthouse, please memorize the following. I would advise that you procure some defenses. Many operators seem to perish out there. It is quite unforgiving. The lighthouse needs two canisters to get started. It can last for a long time, but it needs both to ignite. We keep spare ones in nearby towers. Huh. I think I'll keep the one with me. Just put them both in at the same time. That is just... That's just how I roll. Now, if you go over this way, there's going to be a veritable sea of afflicted. And another couple of flyers to deal with. Um, and then there's a big old pair of double doors. Those double doors lead to another new map. And we will actually come through those double doors later on, so we're going to ignore them for right now. We're just going to set fire to some more things. And find us another secret area. Got some gold, we got some stuff to bash open. Wow, a lot of health. Five times four times, that's 30 health points right there. But for now, let's go inside, shall we? We've been in the outside too long. It's all rainy and gross. How about some significantly less gross stone flooring and walls and zombies? What's wrong, zombies? Am I too fast? I'm just walking at a leisurely pace here. Ooh. That's not how you get ahead in life, Mr. Zombie. Oh, you trying to bear hug me? Okay. I don't think Priest wants bear hugs, but thanks for the offer. Also, thanks for your gold. So, yeah, the key here is to, uh... Well, for starters, get you some gold. And then what you have to do is you get that metal crate off of that pressure plate and put it on the one on the other side of the room to open the palisades. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And then bash open some more urns and vases, why not? There is another key up there. We will be getting that here in a few minutes. Whoa! Oh, yeah, that was stupid. I didn't even notice the barrel was on fire until it was too late and I couldn't move away from it in time. Oh, well. But yeah, did you see how big that blast radius is? I had 100 health and it took me down to, like, what, 58? That's kind of crazy. The visual effects of that blast radius, <laughs> they're a little, uh misleading. Makes you think the blast radius isn't that big, but it is. That being said, get a nice, fair, respectable distance away from it. Unless you want your head to be blown up. Along with, you know, the rest of you. Which I certainly don't want. Got some mana out here. We got some bolts. We got some dead bodies. Better to be a pile of ash than a pile of flesh. Hmm. Alright, got some decent uh, resupplies here. 
Let's just burn us some cobwebs. And I mean all the cobwebs. Even the ones that don't block my progress. Just because I like burning them. Oh, hi, Mr. Lycanthrope. I see you. And off goes your head. Alright, shall we do the zombie shuffle? Hi, zombies. How you doing? Oh, there's four of you. Okay. I can tango. They say it only takes two to tango, but I don't think we're breaking any rules by having five. How about a five-man tango? For your nightly pleasure. Just missing the music. Aw. Lost a tango partner. Oh, lost two tango partners. Three tango partners. Shall we slow dance? Guess he didn't like slow dancing. What a shame. Oof. Oh, man. I pulled an upper back muscle on Friday morning during my walk, and man, it's still sore. Having to hunch over like this for these recordings makes it a little bit more stiff. But we have more dire things to worry about right now. Such as more zombies being alive. Why are you guys alive? You shouldn't be alive. Let me just, uh... Let me just fix that for you. I says, let me fix that for you. And you too. Ow! Hey, that's, that's mean. Get away from me. Y'all are mean. I won't play with you no more. Alright, so our next goal is to find something heavy enough to set on this pressure plate. And that requires going to the next area. Oh, hi there, flying things. I don't recall saying I gave you express written permission to be alive. So kindly. I says kindly die. Appreciate you. Hi, zombies. Shall we tango again? One person's already dead. I think I tangoed too hard with him. You know, as weak as the staff is, I think it only does like 10 damage per hit. Still sounds fairly satisfying when you conk those zombies right on the head. That's another secret up there, by the way. We'll be accessing that here in a minute. Oh, oh no, no, no. Y'all are trying to double-team me. You want me to be so focused on the zombies you can just spit acid at me? I do not think so. Mr. Flyer Face. Just for that, I'm going to really rub it in y'all zombies' faces. And seal your health potions. Right from in front of you. Before I kill you. And then kill you. And then grab your key. A serpent key. Access to places only the cunning may reach. Ooh. Well, I think we're cunning enough. I can bludgeon a bunch of plague-afflicted zombies to death with a wooden staff that seemingly has no magical power. I'd say that makes me pretty cunning. Or just violent. Maybe violence the word. Who knows? But, uh... Yeah, what else can we, uh do down here I think there is at least one more thing we can do actually technically two that crate right there that's the thing we have to carry back to that pressure plate so two things but the other thing is getting that secret that I mentioned as soon as we do the rocky run up these stairs why look at that wall don't those cracks look familiar? Another secret wall. They appeared so quickly. We we just wanted to aid the blacksmith, but out of nowhere these creatures appeared. We ran as fast as we could, and luckily they couldn't keep up. The plant life around here should give us some cover, but I fear that we'll be found eventually. I can only hope our deaths are a swift one, or at least that it is for young Adrana. 
He isn't a child anymore, but he's still so young. He doesn't deserve a slow, painful death. Are you Adrana? You are now one with the rot. So yeah, we will bash that wall down much later on. For now, we're going to do some platforming. Nothing major. Just be sure to sprint first. Whoa! Ooh, woo, whoo. That jump can be very easy to overdo. Oh. I hear someone spitting at me. Good sir, I'd like to inform you that it is rude to spit at people. And that you shouldn't do it. Must I teach you this lesson? Well, there you go. Lesson taught. Did he just... Oh, wow. He clipped through the wall and fell in here. But yeah, we're back out here. In this big, huge area full of afflicted. That I am not going to drop down and uh, take part in right now. Because I would take way too freaking long with the staff. And I don't have enough uh, bolts to take care of them all with the cuff arrow. So we'll have to leave them be for right now. Now, that being said... Now I must carry that metal crate over to the pressure plate. But I see some some fangs that need to be lit on fire and or bashed open. All right. Okay. Ugh, the things this priest does for appreciation and finding out answers. Carrying these large, nasty, scum-covered, rusty metal crates over to these oddly clean, big pressure plates. There. All right. Now, what can we find up here? A lycanthrope? Where do you think you're going? Come over here and face me like a lycanthrope. Or I'll just kill you. Hello down there. Oh, hey. A potion. Oh, a secret. Hey, I found me a new secret. Sweet. Huh. Sometimes it is the least likely place. Well, let's just go ahead and sprint. Sprint back to where we were. Get down to business. Oh, more zombies. Smash. Smash. Fair ball. Home run. Right now, Priest is batting a thousand. He is the hottest hitter in the major leagues. Ooh, serpent key door, huh? Oh, look. Holy raw. More zombies. Uh oh, and a lycanthrope. Sir, I think you're trapped. Ooh, I shot his leg off. Whoa, hi. You wanna do that again? What are you stuck? Can't move? <laughs> Too bad. Flyers, not on my watch. Smash up some more zombie heads. Can never have enough smashed zombie heads. That is just a fact of life. Oh, y'all y'all getting cute? Y'all want to try and flank me? Is that it? Let me show you a strategy that beats flanking. It's called circle strafing. Learn it. Hashtag circle strafe to win. I see you over there. You ain't You ain't crafty. You ain't fooling me. You ain't fooling this old priest. I'll take my not quartz flask, thank you very much. And I'll also take this other peat burner. Or peat fuel canister. <laughs> my bad. Well, what can we over here? Oh no, a lycanthrope. Oh no, two lycanthropes. Oh no, they're dead. Yeah, whenever you shoot enemies in this game so far, it 
every single shot triggers their pain state, so you can effectively, so long as they're not charging at you, you can kind of stun lock them, and then just kill them that way. So the lycanthropes are honestly kind of a joke right now. <laughs> they have said, they being 3D Realms, that is, that they will look into decreasing pain chance occurrences, so it's not so grossly imbalanced. I think it looks funny, though, so I don't mind it. Ooh. Looks like a blacksmith. Hello! What are you? Short sword. Quick slashes and the ability to parry make for a potent combination. Ooh. Parry! Oh, wait. Animation. There. Parry! Parry! Slash! Oh, hang on. Like these braziers. There we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, baby. Now it's a fair fight. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> now this feels good. This place, it's become my home. I will not willingly give it up to these monsters. I'll defend it until my last breath. If I fall and am found, please take what you will, but promise me this. Kill every last one of them. Wish granted, Mr. Blacksmith. Rest in peace. If your body is no longer here, the plague cannot bring you back to life, if that's even what it's doing. So I will not let it happen to you. Or you. Oh. A total of three lycanthropes. Hmm. I'll go for this one first. Hey, yo, zombies, bring it on. Strike! Hey, lycanthrope. You want a taste of my sword, too? Four slashes, and you're dead. So, zombies. Looks like the tables have turned just a bit. Now, not only can I circle strafe, I can circle strafe and use an actual sword. Instead of just bludgeoning you with a wooden staff. <laughs> yeah, this thing is kind of ridiculous right now. It's weird, though, because the game says... Yeah, right here. So the staff deals 10 damage per hit. The short sword, only 16. I I doubt that's the case. But I think the short sword also gets like multiple hits per slash, too. Because I'm seeing a lot of blood, blood spatter when I use this thing. I don't know if I want to sidestep uh, two lycanthropes. So let's just take one out with the cup arrow. Whoa! You want to try that again? Get out of here. You get out of here, too. Ooh, hey, 50 gold. I'll take that. I'll take that potion. And I will carefully jump down here, and then down here, and then back down to here. All right. Stop sucking your thumbs, people, and let's light this candle. Burn. Burn. Burn! Now that's actually a pretty uh, pretty lighthouse. Nice design. The lighthouse is lit and the horde spreads thin. I can proceed. I must return to the tax collector before this plan works too well and I am trapped. Trapped? Oh no. We shall not have that. Not with this deadly ass short sword I'm wielding now. I'm pretty sure this thing will even the odds against pretty much uh, any enemy. Oh, hi there, afflicted. Did your pathfinding lead you over here? Well then, pay for it. That's right, yeah, oh yeah. Like lambs to the slaughter. Time to silence these lambs. Whoop, sorry, too slow. Wow, that is a lot of afflicted. I suppose I could wait and take him out with something else, but eh. They're all just such willing participants. I shouldn't leave them hanging like that. Plague stricken or no, it is rude to leave others hanging. Whether that be in the case of high fives or high swords. Can't leave you behind. Oh, hi. 
I'm not gonna leave you alone. Oh, about to say, who are you? I don't think I've ever seen an afflicted just stand in place like that. Thought he was like an NPC that I had never seen before. So yeah, these are the doors that lead to a different map. You can't open them from here, but you can from the other side. And we will get there eventually. But uh, I don't know about you, I th uh, but I think I've gotten my fill of the old brine musk egg. I think it is time to... uh. GTFO. Oh, hi. More zombies? Were you drawn here by the light, zombies? Don't look into the light. Look into my sword instead. Oh god, Lycanthrope. Hi, Lycanthrope. Wanna jump? No? You just wanna take my sword? Alright. Off with your head, too. Hey, yo, that's my way out of here. Meaning, I don't want you guys obstructing it. Thank you very much. Ugh, so rude. You light a lighthouse, and all of a sudden, every zombie in town and their zombie grandmother just wades out of the muck to try to stop you. Well, they didn't try hard enough. We are out of here. Oh, more. Okay. You guys want to slug it out? I'm game. But I got a short sword, pal, and I am not shy about using it. Catch me if you can. Ugh. My goodness. Mr. Tax Collector Man was not kidding. This place really is besieged on all fronts. But hopefully this uh, made you happy, Mr. Tax Collector. I'm not in the business of giving out gold, but I admit you've earned it. Thank you. If you think you can make inroads with this plague, the quarantine zone should be accessible now. Barring that, the Cruxforth Archives, or that accursed house deep in the bog beyond, are your best bets. Oh, really? Clotted Avenues. This is where it boiled over, apparently. Somewhere within that tangled wretch is the path to the library, and from there, hopefully, answers. I recall spotting a blocked gate at the Lyslau. I should find it. I know exactly where this gate is. And yes, the gate is now magically opened. Oh, hi. Ah. All that for a door I can't even open. Oh, right. I said I'd light these on fire. That will never not be satisfying. But that's enough of the Dillion and the Dallion. Let's get back to the task at hand here. We can now access these clotted avenues, which also sounds disgusting. But I guess it fits with the theme. Plague-stricken town, disgust, they go hand in hand. But let's not be rude. Let's light some more braziers. Light. Let there be light. Map of clotted avenues. But apparently this place is called the Quarantine Zone. Instead of being called Clotted Avenues, it's called Quarantine Zone, apparently. That's strange. Uh oh, dramatic music? Oh, now that gets the juices flowing. You want some? Oh, come get you some. Come on. Who, who else wants it? You want some, Mr. Lycanthrope? Come on. Come get some of that. I spy zombies. You can't blow these doors up, by the way. Don't bother trying. Maybe in a later build, like I've said before. But uh, before that... Yeah! Die, zombies. There is dramatic music. And I've got a short sword. Ugh. 
My oh my. Not to sound rude, but this place has seen some better days. Whoa. Let me blow those up the old fashioned way. Place is nasty already. But we shall not waste any time. We need answers, and we are here to get said answers. Or are we? Oh, hi. You look new. What are you? Oh, oh you want to slug it out? You want to duke it out? Here. Have short sword. That's what I thought. Get your iron shield out of my face. Hey, Lycanthrope, you want some bolts? Oh, wow, okay. I'll give you props for that, and he jumped right over my shots. I literally had one shot to go, and he just jumped right over it. Impressive. I didn't stunlock him quite enough, and I paid the price. In the form of 31 points of damage? Is that something new? Fletchant flings numerous crude projectiles with little accuracy, but to great effect. Oh? Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Could this be a shotgun? Oh, ho, ho. a shotgun crossbow. Now we're having some fun. I don't think you guys want a taste of my shotgun crossbow, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Uh-oh. Yeah, so the skeleton guys that wield uh, the cuff arrow, they have less health than the ones that carry spears. Unfortunately, it is kind of hard to tell from a distance which ones they are. Can you cross this, or are you just going to... Oh, okay. Then have some of this. Ooh, you like that twofer? The fuck? What happened there? What black magic makes me stumble and twist my steps? Another cracked wall. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Hi. Bye. guys got any of that health? Oh, I'll take some fleshets, though. Or fleshets. Stones. What What is the ammo type for this gun called? I forgot. It's not fleshets, oddly enough. It's actually something entirely different. Hmm. Ooh, lever. Journal updated, huh? Reasonably, the town guard attempted to set up choke points to mitigate the spread. I'll have to undo their good work to proceed. <gasps> no. Say it ain't so, priest. Say it ain't so. Alright. If it must be done, it must be done. I demand answers, and I will not be leaving until I get them. Oh, my. Hmm. Oh. Y'all are in my way. Go ahead and light them on fire, too. Drop me something. Oh, there we go. Red mana, health, bolts. Lots of red mana. Now we're talking. Ooh, a little dark. Light these here sepulchers. I think these actually are sepulchers, or some different form of torch. Oh, hi. What are you doing? That's what I thought. Jerk. Let's see. Burn more of these webs. Ugh. Webs, webs, and webs. If there's one thing I hate more than webs, it's big webs. Because that could mean big spiders are nearby, and that's a big fat hell no for me, dog. Ugh. Let's 
get out of this nasty spider tunnel. Ooh. Hi there, gargoyle. Hello? Anybody here? Oh, wh oh, what in the hell? What was up with your legs? I have never seen that before. Nice little character model glitch there. Let me just cause my wanton destruction before we uh, continue here. Now, what is this b giant green floating stone that I am ignoring for the time being? Resonating stone empowers the staff to break certain barriers and deals more damage to enemy weak spots. Oh. Oh. And it hums, too. Smash. Oh, no, a skeleton. Whatever shall I do? Oh, no. And he's dead. There we go. You want some too? I killed your friend, I'll kill you too. Now, there is going to be a bit of a puzzle in this level that requires two clues. Well, it doesn't require them. You can solve it without them. But there's one of your two clues. So it looks like we have two different uh, monoliths. Or two sides of a three-dimensional object. On the upper left, we have a diamond shape. On the middle right, we have a, a squiggly line. Or, a, not really squiggly, but a kind of deformed line. And the bottom right, we have what looks like a pair of circles. Hmm. Well, surely these things must have some significance. I'm assuming we will find out what that significance could be later on. But for now, we smash. Oh, hi there. Who are you guys? Oh. Cultists. Yep, they dash around really quickly, throw daggers at you from afar, and try to stab you with their long spears up close. And that's it. That's all they have. No magical attacks, at least not yet. They are entirely... Well, I was going to say melee focus, but if they're throwing daggers, they're not really entirely melee, are they? My mistake. Go ahead and swat some mosquitoes here. There we go. Hmm. Don't really have the need to smash anything, so we'll just bypass these for right now. Oh. Well, that's a little grim. Oh. More of you, huh? Guarded by your little flying bat things. Wow, how am I missing so bad? These things are not flying straight. That was a delayed death. Can I go this way? Oh, I can. Ooh. Secret? Oh, look at that. Another new secret. I never even noticed that path before. Whoa. This place is, uh, is rather big. Rather sizable. But it looks like all these palisades are... Locked. What is that? Some magical force is keeping this palisade from being opened. Doesn't look like there's anything we can do about it right now, so we'll just have to move on up. More zombies? No problems. Priesty here might have 99 problems, but you zombies ain't one of them. You know what else isn't a problem? A secret. That contains a health potion. Only problem is now we'll have to backtrack all the way over there, but that's eh, not too bad. 
Not like we covered a whole lot of ground anyway. Just a lot of fighting to be had in between said places on the ground. Oh. What are you guys doing here? Most importantly, why are you alive? Do I need those bolts? I do. I will take them. Much appreciated. Alright, so if we can't make any progress all the way up there at the top, I guess I'll have to take this here side path. Knock, knock. Aw, oh, nobody's home. Knock, knock, I says. Whoa. Wow, this place is huge. What? You think you're fierce? You think you scare me? Get out of here. Off with your head, too. Oh, you... You shooting? That's what I thought. Hey, lycanthrope, I see you over there. I also see some uh, ranged skeletons. Oh, nope. Too slow. Too slow, Mr. Lycanthrope. Try again next time. Oh, ouch. I had to reload and I stopped sidestepping for a split second and that was all the time that guy needed. And, uh, yeah, despite the fact that this thing is technically the shotgun of this game, do not think it has short range. It does not at all. Also, my journal updated. These aren't normal methods of securing. A perverse enchantment is binding the paths. The undecaying tribe I've read about is clearly here as well. I should seek out the totems they use to claim dominion. Undecaying, huh? Undecaying tribe. Now that sounds interesting. As does this lycanthrope over here who just tried to jump and failed miserably. Get out of here. Hi, zombie. Bye, zombie. This is not your grave, but you are welcome in it. Oh. Bonfire lit. Dark Souls reference. Very nice. However, unlike in Dark Souls, I doubt lighting the bonfire here actually does anything. You missed. Pay for your bad accuracy. With your life. Uh oh. Priests or cultists. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? Shall I A, go gung ho with the short sword? Or B, go gung ho with the short sword? Get out of here. All right. Now before we go further this way, there is a little uh, settlement over here. I would like to explore a little bit. Hmm. Huh. What kind of house is this? Hi, zombies. And here's the second clue. Yep, you heard the graven guy go, hmm. So let's see, this time on the top right we have a couple of vertical lines. The middle right we have that pair of circles from before, but was on the lower right last time. And then on the lower left we have a square. Hmm. Very interesting. I suspect we're not that far away from finding out what exactly all this is about. But before that, I heard a skeleton running up here, who is now dead. Uh, this door you cannot open from this side, so don't bother trying. And we'll just drop our happy ass back on down. Alright. Also, and this is a really, really unfortunate thing, and I really hope they do change it in future builds. When you find notes that act as clues... They're not in your inventory anywhere. 
I don't think they're on your map either. Like, you can't click these scrolls over here. These are just maps of different levels. That's your character. Yep, there's me. 600% secrets. Ooh. Let's see. Journal? Yeah, I don't think it's in your journal either. There really should be a notes section in your journal. Hopefully they change that. This option here I can't utilize, but maybe that's... Maybe that's for lore. Eh, but who knows. So yeah, there's no way of taking those clues with you, so what I had to do was take a picture of them with my phone. And then I just have the images in my little gallery app back to back. So from the two clues, which I am totally not cheating right now by looking on my phone, on the top left and top right of this big massive thing here, looks like some kind of totem. So the things on those clues were not two separate things. Like two separate flat stone things. They were two different sides of this giant device here. So in the top right we need to have a diamond on the left and two vertical lines on the right. Oop, wrong switch. Okay, well there's a diamond, but that's another diamond. That's not it. There's a diamond and there's a diamond. There's a diamond and there's two vertical lines. Okay. I assume that's right. For the middle... Hmm. The middle, it has a pair of eyes on the right, or a pair of circles on the right, as well as a line. Both on the right. Nothing on the middle left. So we'll go to the bottom next, actually. I just now realized that. So the bottom left is a square, the bottom right is a pair of circles. There's your square. Oh, and I hit the wrong damn lever, didn't I? Son of a... <clears throat> Ignore that. There we go. Okay. Square and a pair of circles. That looks right. In the middle, we have a line on the right and also a pair of circles on the right. Oh. 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 That is very cool. A turtle key. Let yourself in and be home wherever that may be. I think I shall do that. Oh no, an ambush. It's like we have a couple of ranged skeleton guys. Oh, do you just bash me? Oh. There we go. I want to take out the ranged guys first. And then deal with the melee guys up close and personal. Just like that. Oh my goodness. I keep running into things on the ground and it's turning me around. That's really annoying. You can't go through this door, by the way. You can't interact with these push bars or pull bars, whatever they are. Door bars. You just have to leave them where they are. Those health files? They are. I will take those. Thank uh Oh, that's mana. Okay. I thought it was a health file. My bad. But, we have a new key, so where exactly do we go with it? I don't think the only area we haven't explored is this over here. So, let's see we do some more exploriating. Let's see what could be over here. Huh. No enemies, huh? Good. For them. I'd have wasted them anyway. Oh, hey, look, a key. Oh. That does not look like a turtle key. Alright, well, if that's the door we don't go through, or if that's not the door we do go through, maybe the door we do go through is somewhere in the water. Oh, hi, fish. Hey, whoa, nice fishies. Nice fishies. Don't bite me, please. I'll just carve you into sushi instead. See? Just like that. Ah, there's the turtle key door. Nice. We have another fish. And another fish. Yeah, you can bite me. I don't even care. Ooh, and a couple of zombies waiting for me. How nice of them. Alright, you die, and you die too. Oh, now where are we? Sir, are you a ranged skeleton? Oh, you don't want to stay? Fine. Go ahead and run away. I'm used to people running away from me. I don't even care. Hey, there you are again. 
And that was indeed a ranged skeleton. Because remember, the ranged guys have less health than the or or the uh, melee guys, so... I hear another one running around. There you are. And there he goes. Just like that. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, I am running a tad low on the uh, fletchant ammunition. I think I would like to see if I can get some more. Burn some corpse piles in the meantime. Blood. So much blood. Hmm. Can I go around these? Oh, I can. Oh, hi. It's a party over here, huh? All right. You know what a party calls for? Dancing. Let me teach you guys the circle strafe. It goes a little something like this. I survive and you all die. And then I take your supplies because that's just how I roll. Okay, barbs. Barbs is the ammo type for the fletchant. That's what it's called. Okay. Cuz I knew what I knew it was not flechettes, but I couldn't remember what the actual term for their ammo was. So we have more bashables over here. No barbs to be found though. Let's try going upstairs. Get a better vantage point on things. Hey, barbs. And see, that time it didn't tell me how many I got. So yeah, that's really strange. I guess that's just a a HUD glitch or something. Alright, we're now full on everything. Perfect. Ow. Except health. Oh, look. Now I'm full on health. Let's see. Ooh. Elevator ride? I'm down. I'm always down for some elevator rides. What we got? What we got? What's that? A cultist? A couple of cultists? I ain't afraid of no cultists. You or your throwing daggers. Oh. You missed. Man, y'all, you all missed. Y'all are terrible. I'm just a single target. You guys can't hit anything. Like stormtroopers. Can't hit anything at all. Hmm. Should I destroy? Nah. I'll leave these alone for the time being. Now, if there's any... Oh, yeah. Exploding barrels. That's different. Cause all the chaos. Oh, yeah. That is what I like to see. Items of all kinds. Oh, what the hell? Was that the spear that stabbed me, or was it a throwing dagger? I think y'all Ow! Who did that? Did they just attack me after they were dead? Now that is definitely cheating. Y'all are cheaters. Cheaters, cheaters, pumpkin eaters. Uh. All right, fine. You can have your little cheats if you want. I have all these health files. I can heal myself whenever I please. You guys, I doubt that. Oh, hello down there. You guys mind if I, uh, join the party? Are all you guys melee? What about you? Melee? Yep. You guys want to do some tango? How about some mambo? Some samba? Not interested, huh? 
You just want to die? Is that it? Alright. Now, what would a priest be if he didn't grant someone their dying wish? Hey, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? You too. Get over here. And what are those giant red glowing things? Those are the totems we have to destroy. And just watch how much ammo you have to sink into these things to blow them up. Wow, that's so much. I am now extremely short on ammo after that. I'll have to restock. Could take me forever. Yeah, I'm not sure if they meant for the totems to be that weak, but they are that weak. You want to know who else is kind of weak? Not this guy, even though he's weak too. These new enemies. Say hello to the Undecaying Honored. Giant behemoth skull face dudes with maces. Who literally just lumber towards you in very predictable fashion and occasionally will try to slam you with their giant mace. They don't have any kind of ranged attack. They don't have a jumping or leaping attack. They just have a, a mace swing and then an overhead, like, overhead swing with the mace. Ow, hey. Not nice. Thank you. Hey, Undecaying Honored, I just took out your totem. Ow! Ooh, I bet you're mad at me, aren't you? you Want to take out your anger on me? Come on. Come on. Oh, you're dead. You want some of this? Oh, I guess he did not want some of that. So, yeah. If you get a little overzealous like I just did, you can occasionally get caught by one of their mace attacks, but it's nothing too bad. As is usually the case, just don't get pinned by them and you'll be fine. And look at this. An old rusty key. Rusted, crude, but still appears functional. Oh. And if memory serves, the key that has that, uh, or the door that has that key was at the top of this area up here. Oh, hi. Wanna die? Oh, whoo, that was close. Close, but no cigar. God, this thing has range. Some kind of shotgun this is. Also, this thing does have a secondary fire. Um, basically, what it is, is it has this short wind-up time, and then it launches a lot of projectiles that explode. It is quite powerful, but I just haven't really found a need to use it. I might demonstrate it against a Undecaying Honored or something a little further ahead, but nah, we'll see. This thing's primary fire is plenty useful enough. Oh, actually, you know what? Oh! And it uses two shots, huh? Now, that's actually pretty badass. I'm not even going to lie. Pretty badass. But it does use up two uh, shots. so Or two barbs per shot. So I wouldn't uh, use it too much. No need to get too reliant on it. Go ahead and bash open some barrels here. Get us some nice supplies like health. Yes. Health, please. What the hell do you want? You want you want a tango as well? You want a tango? You're gonna have to hit me first. No tango for you. How about you? You want a tango? Whoops. Sorry. Oh, nope. None for you either. You all failed the tango. Good day, sir. I feel, excuse me, I have some flying beasties to take down. Away with you, horrible beasts. I have no fear. Hiya! Oh, there's three of them. I am kind of afraid of three of these things. No, nah, not really. Not to mention they can hurt themselves with their daggers. So that kind of <laughs> takes away more of the threat factor. Get out of here. Oh, how did I forget you? Where are you going? You ain't going. You ain't getting away. 
You ain't getting away. You ain't getting away either. I don't know what you're thinking. But you guys can all have a nice, quick death. By the hands of my bloody short sword. Which in a few seconds will no longer be bloody. Just like that. Oh, hi. You want to spit at me again? Yeah, that's what I thought. You jerk. Get down. Who's next? Ooh, what is that I see? That is a big weapon. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Excuse me, Mr. Zombies. Can I get my new weapon? Thank you. Pete Burner. Picked up a Pete Burner. Well, yes, I did just pick up a Pete Burner. So what's this thing all about? I don't have enough inventory slots to have two different uh, one by three items, so... Let's see what we got. I'll replace it with the fletch or repl replace the fletchant with it for right now. Ho ho. Oh my goodness. This thing is armed with a crank of sorts and a bellows and it literally fires bricks of peat. <laughs> that short spoiler here. Stick to an enemy and then explode. Yeah, look at that nonsense. That is crazy. And it killed this guy too. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, does this thing have an alt fire as well? Whoa! Wow, it's like a cluster bomb. Uh, okay. Let's not use that too much. I will waste all my ammo in no time. And Daddy does like his ammo supply. Oh yeah, how many peat bricks can I pick up here? Is that the last of them? May have been. Peat bricks. Get your peat bricks here. Actually, I don't know if you ever even do find peat bricks inside barrels. Might be everything but peat bricks. Hmm. Well, peat bricks aside, who else do we have to punish? This priest is full of anger, vitriol, and feelings of revenge. I hear humming. Sounds like one of those totems. Oh. A skull key is needed. Sad, I don't have one. We'll just have to find us one. Shouldn't take too long. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna swap back to my Fletchant real quick. We have some ranged skellies. And a flyer. What? How did you dodge that first shot? That's cheating. And before we drop down into an area where we have to take damage, because there's nothing to drop down on, other than the ground itself. Oh. Oh, hi. You wanna you wanna play that game, do you? Well, you can die. Now, why am I all the way over here on this thin, precarious ledge? Because there is a secret with two health potions. Which, by the way, grants you 50 HP. So, if I do get into a dire situation, I can always just whip one of those out. But in the meantime, let's take our damage and deal some damage. Yeah, what you want? You want some? How about you? You want some too? Come on. I know you haven't had enough. And eh, now you've had enough. Jerk. Oh, we got more of you, huh? I ain't afraid of your big old Conan the Barbarian looking ass. Get over here. I will slice all of you down. Including you. Get over here. Come on, come get some. 
or off with your head. I said, okay, fine. Keep your head. I don't even care. You want it so bad? You can keep it. You want to keep your head too? Oh, okay. Kudos to you. You actually hit me. But that's all you'll get. That's all the satisfaction I will allow you to have. And we have another totem over here. Let's see what we have now. With those totems meeting their deserving end, the stranglehold in this or square relents. I should explore and see what has opened up. I'll need to destroy any and all totems I encounter in the future. You damn straight. And I see a flyer. Oh, who tried to spit at me. And then he got fletch fletchented. Hey, Lycanthrope. I see you over there. Acting all pretty. Whoa. Oh, ow. Okay. You want to play rough, do you? Fine. We'll play rough. I don't mind it. I was hoping he would jump sooner. I kind of underpredicted when he would jump. But let's not even take that chance. We'll just use the good old cuff arrow. Uh, yes. Can I help you, good sir? God, they get pushed back way far by this thing. Oh, hello. Come on, you freaking Genghis Khan looking stupid brute. Give me your health file. Mine now. Sounds like there could be one more lurking around somewhere. But he shall have to wait. Because I desire some supplies, such as health. I'm going to resist using my health potion for as long as I can. If I can find even a, like, say, two to three health files, I'll be fine. Oh, there we go. There's one. In the very last crate that I destroy, of course. Uh. Oh, man. This map's a long one. What's this? Library key needed. So we gotta find two keys now, huh? Alright, I'm no stranger to finding keys. Show them to me. And I shall collect. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, you survived? You... You survived. Oh, Pete Brit. The hell? Did they just drop those? Or were they on the ground? I'm pretty sure those were on the ground. No way those weak things would drop peat bricks. That'd be insane. I mean, I wouldn't complain. But it would be kind of insane. Um, hello. There we go. I know you're not using your hands, Graven guy, but please climb that ladder. Oh, you know what? This is actually where we have to go. There's another path I want to take first. Ow. Okay, you know what? Let's not abuse Graven Guy any more than he needs to be. Down the hatch. Mm. Tastes like... I don't know. Tastes like pink water. Hey, cultists. I'm your worst nightmare. Your ass is mine. <laughs> Just like that. Ooh, hello. That's a big old supply of peat bricks. Four peat bricks. That's a large enough supply. And then over here... We have found the gate that leads back into Cruxfirth. But we're not going back to Cruxfirth just yet. That loading screen seems a tad random. Since we never actually left the clotted avenues, but alright, whatever. And this door over here, it leads you to this metal uh, gate door which takes you back to the start. A shortcut back to the starting area. But that is not what we're after. 
We need two keys and we need to find them now. Man, really impressive Graven Guy can climb up ladders with just his feet. Oh, hi, Totem. Oh, bad guys are sponging my shots. Are they infighting? There we go. Just wanted to kill that stupid thing. Now we have quite a few of those undecaying honored in here. I don't want to take all of those guys on with my sword. So we'll just light them on fire. <laughs> Alright, just you and me now. You skull-faced freak. Too slow. Oh, I need those bolts for sure. Was running a little low on the bolt front. Oh, hi. Are you trying to climb stairs to get to me? I'm so honored. Oh, now you want to go back down. Want to make me chase you? You want to play hard to get? Well then, off with your head. And away with your health potion, too. My health potion now. That is, if I needed it. There we go. And here is the skull key. Alright. Well, now we just gotta get back to the skull key door and uh, find out what's inside. But uh, prior to that, we have a few ranged skeletons in here. I think the Fletchant is a call in my name. Wow, I missed that shot completely. Oh god, woo! Hello! I didn't know they could uh, all accumulate on that ledge right there. Impressive job. So impressive, I feel I need to celebrate your impressive feat. With some flaming hot bricks of peat to the gut. <laughs> Just like that. And now we'll swap back to the Fletchant. Okay, I need some barbs. I'm low on the barb front now. But yeah, this thing is quite impressive. It's got massive range for a shotgun. It's like the barbs eventually f get into a tight formation with a little bit of distance. So you can nail really long range targets. It's kind of insane actually. Alright, this gate here is still locked. Hmm. Let's see. Skull key door, I believe. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I think I forgot to open that stupid door again from the other side, just like in my second run through. Crap. I think I did. Ordinarily, I could just go back down there and run up through the uh, house area up that ramp, but I can't now. So we'll have to uh, do this the long way again. Ah, go away, fish. And I believe the way to do that is going up here. Yep. I believe I am correct. We'll just have to sprint our way back to that skull key door. And see what's inside that uh, very ominous sounding room. I'm willing to bet it's probably one of those totems. Why, look at that. Success. Spellbound no more. I need only overcome the remaining infrastructure of the town guard. Well, let's not waste any time. Ooh, 18 barbs. Nice. So, now that all the totems have been destroyed, that door down there is now open. So that is where we shall head. Down this way. 
yeah. So this is how I could have come back up there, but that's okay. I took fall damage and immediately gained all my health back. That was kind of weird. But I appreciate it. Are you guys ranged or no? I'm guessing that's a no. Y'all want a tango too? It only takes two to tango. Alrighty. Let's see what this here tower holds for us. Wipe the blood off our blade. Make it look nice and clean. Oh. Library key. Light for its size. It smells of paper, ink, and quill feather. And look who has arrived to bar our progress. That's right. Nobody. There was nobody ever there. So, now that we have the library key, we can now go to the library and see what uh, that place holds for us. Something tells me this library is a quite significant place. I've heard a few hints from some NPCs about it, so surely it's got to hide something nice. But let us find out. Oh yeah, this jump. Oh, my knees. That hurt. We'll be fine though. Uh oh. I think the cultists don't want me going inside their library. Where are they? Oh, hi. I want that library. I want inside. And no one shall stop me. No bald-headed, red-robe-wearing, staff-wielding priest is going to stop me. Um, there we go. This must belong to the lock blocking my path to the library. I shall see soon. Ooh. How very botanical. Oh, hey, ferryman. What are you doing here? Patience! This area isn't clear yet. Nice shiny rock you got for your staff there. Maybe head back where you came from. See what you can do now. So, yes. This actually marks the end of Early Access. This is as much of the game exists right now. So, the library, which is beyond these doors, cannot be accessed until, I guess, a later... A later update happens. But... What we can do, now that we have this nice shiny stone, as the ferryman put it, is we can go back and see what all we can open now. And if memory serves, there's at least two of those mysterious cracks in uh, Cruxfirth, and then there is at least one in the uh, Brine Muskeg. That big giant wall in that uh, area where we had to pick up that metal crate to put on the pressure plate. I think that's all of them so far. So let's go ahead and head on back to Cruxfirth and see what secrets we can unfurl with this thing. Let's go ahead and nonchalantly walk atop this very sharp, deadly Cheval de Frise here. So I believe this was the house... No. No, it's this way. Yeah. Oh, actually, wait, no. Nope, nope. I was right the first time. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes, Cruxfirth, I know. Yeah, see, like I said, the level titles will pop in randomly for some reason. I don't know why. Probably just general early access glitchiness. Nothing major, though. Alright, let's see what we have up here. A couple of latticework doors. And, oh, another key door. You need an item. This is a key that, to my knowledge, we cannot obtain unless there is a key behind that cracked wall in the Brian Muskeg, which we will be heading to now. 
after I commit some vandalism. Before I forget, there was actually that one other crack that was in that other house. Oh, not that way. Those cracked wooden beams. Let's go ahead and do away with those. We'll just have to journey all through this house again. Go down this here ladder. And bash. And it just takes us back outside. A little shortcut to the uh, treasure room here. Okay, so, Brian Muskeg. Let's see what this giant cracked wall is hiding. Because I am a curious priest, and I do not like to be kept waiting. Also, I don't think we should have any respawned enemies here, but in case we do, I do have the means to deal with them. Oh, and uh, those double doors that you see way over in that area? Those are opened from the other side. Actually, no. They're open now. Oh, yeah, okay. This leads back into the Lice Slough. This is that gate that had those arms reaching through that could hurt you. Yeah, it's now open. And you can just go back into the Lice Slough if you wanted to. Yep, little Easter egg. But that's enough of that chicanery. Let's get to what we came for. And since we cannot... Oh, hello. Goodbye. Since we cannot go back through the Palisades over there because the pressure plate is not being pressured, let's <laughs> we'll go back to the secret area here. And we have to go back to the very tippy top of this here pier dock area. Now, I don't even know what's behind this wall. I actually have uh, been wanting to reload my second playthrough and bash this wall and see what it hides, but I keep forgetting to. So, I shall be finding out for the first time what's behind this wall, just like everybody else that is watching this video. Let's find out. Oh, it's a path. Okay. You have my curiosity. A respawn point? Oh. Oh. Oh, wow, it leads back to the docks. Huh. Okay. That's kind of anticlimactic, but... Alright. At least now I know. Geronimo! Blah. This water's a little murky. But yeah. That is Graven so far. Let's go ahead and take a rest in the city square up here. Town square or whatever with our magical staff. Thank you for your help. You're welcome, sir. And I believe, yep, that's everything crossed out. So yeah, that is everything you can do in this early access build, at least in this current version. So I guess whenever uh, this build gets updated and they introduce more stuff, oh, by the way, there is a chest here that is also locked. So I'm wondering if you have to get a key via a quest to unlock that chest because you can't you can't break it open trust me I've tried but yeah I guess once um once 3D Realms make some updates and potentially open up some more parts to this early access build I'll, I'll probably do a playthrough of that as well and see what all that's about because I'm curious to see what this library is going to hold in store for us as well as that mystery key to the attic that we were in earlier because I'm pretty sure you can't find that key now but uh, if you can, someone please tell me, because I am genu genuinely curious what could be inside there. But I'm willing to bet it's probably something you'll find in the library, and then you have to go back up there. So, I don't know. Only one way to find out, and that is when 
the next update came uh, the, the next update comes out so yeah that's graven it's pretty fun so far um i definitely would like to see some things improved um make it less about bashing things open you know like this uh it, I would say improve the enemy's AI. The enemy's AI is way too predictable for the time being. And, you know, I, I know they're going to iron a lot of this out, but this is just my first impressions. It is definitely fun. I see the potential. It does remind me a lot of, like, say, Hexen or Hexen 2. Just a general fantasy land. You have your items at the bottom. It has very smooth movement. And the combat, although repetitive at times, is actually really satisfying, especially when you just get to chop up a bunch of afflicted zombies with your swords so but yeah that is graven so far i just wanted to go ahead and put this on youtube i haven't really seen anyone do a full playthrough of this current build yet so i figured hey why not try to be the first if i will be the first so i shall uh, go ahead and end things here this is gonna be a long video as is and go ahead and get on the rendering process and Try to get this baby uploaded into YouTube. So at the time of recording this, it is May 29th, 10.38 p.m. Central Time. Um, my next schedule to play through is actually going to be starting on June 4th, which is uh, this coming Friday. So I, I will go ahead and upload this sometime this week. Probably go ahead and upload it tomorrow just to have something, um, you know, not wait too long. And I also don't want to make, you know, this long video happen and then immediately after that, oh, my next playthrough. I want you know there. I want there to be some time between this long video and the not quite as long videos. So we shall see what happens. But yep, this was Graven early access build. What was it like one five zero six? I believe. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely see the potential this game has. I really, really can't wait to see what all three D realms and the developers do to update it. And whenever an update does come, I will of course be doing a playthrough of that as well. But until that time comes. I'll see y'all when I see you. Bye-bye.